And what I want to do is I want to start helping you understand what it looks like conservatively um, to scale up to your revenue goals. If you're a business owner uh, or maybe a leader at a company, you probably have revenue and or income goals. And part of that, if you're here, is obviously dependent on you building a commission-based or primarily commission-based sales team, or I imagine you, you would not be here. And so I'm going to give you an example of what it looks like to think through the math so you can have a plan. And this is fun. Um, so have fun with this. At the end, we'll, sh we'll show you to where, to get, where to get the recording and everything of this so you can go back and hear the information a couple of times and maybe do this if you're not able to do this right at the moment. And I'll illustrate an example to paint a picture for you guys. So I'm going to go through some questions and just answer them and hopefully make this clear for you. Uh, and then we'll have a, a few more things that we'll go through and uh, end, the, end the call today. So where is revenue at right now and what is your revenue goal? Okay, so let's pretend I'm doing 250K in revenue. Okay, I'm doing 250K in revenue. And my goal, you know, typically if you're like 250 to 500K, you know, your next goal is like a million, right? If you're at a million, you're probably looking to go to two or five, five, you're looking to get to 10, 10, you're looking to get to 20, then 50, right? But for the sake of this example, I want to kind of make it a little bit different. Let's pretend I'm trying to go from 250K to 2 million. Okay, and let's also pretend that, uh, or let me ask you, uh, I'll go through the questions. Where's revenue at right now? And what is the revenue goal? So in this example, let's say it's 250K um, and I want to get to 2 million. What is the gap that we need to make up? Okay, what is the gap that we need to make up? 250K to 2 million, the gap is 1.75 million. What is your expected new higher attrition rate? So for most of you, you're not going to know this. What I mean by attrition is how many people fall off after you hire them. So if you were to hire three people, um, on average, you know, how many people are falling off? Is it one, two? If you were to hire five people or four people on average falling off, right? So what is your expected new hire attrition rate? This may seem kind of scary to you, but we help a lot of companies and a lot of those companies uh, are smaller businesses. And because their systems are not perfect yet, um, the, the retention rates are not perfect yet. And we, we get that stuff perfected over a three to six month period with them. But, you know, at the beginning, what we see, um, which is fine if you set up onboarding for scale so, you so that you're not wasting time, uh, time with the wrong hires and you cycle out the non-performers quickly, we often see, you know, you got to sign five reps to get one to stick and to scale up in the quota. Okay, now that number may seem high if you haven't had any experience in recruiting, but that's the nature of the game, especially in an all-commission opportunity, right? If I'm recruiting into something where you can't make money for two weeks or, I mean, 30 days, 60 days or you know, you got to knock doors and set your own leads and close your own leads. Or, you know, it's an all commission appointment setting position uh, or it's a B2B field sales role where I got to go business to business and set my own leads. And it takes me six months to ramp up. There is attrition in those type of programs. So the averages that we see across the board is, uh, um, you know, on an average 20 percent. So I signed five reps to get one to stick. Those are those are kind of numbers that we have clients depend on. And then we get that up over to, you know, to 30, 40 percent and, and work to increase that over time with proper sales department systems. But we got uh, what is the expected new hire attrition rate? Let's pretend it's, you know, I have to hire five to get one. OK, what is your sales rep minimum or quota? Let's pretend that uh, the in this example where I'm trying to go to 250K to, to um, uh, 2 million um, are, you know, our sales annual quota. Um, and your may, your, yours may be, you know, 500K or a million or something like that. Let's pretend that it is, um, you know, 250K, right? 250K in revenue. That's kind of the, the bare minimum uh, expectation that you have. Um, well, based on me doing 250K in revenue and wanting to get to 2 million in that $1.75 million uh, gap um, with reps doing 250K minimum in revenue, how many reps do I need to fill the gap? The number seven, right? Seven times 250 is that 1.75. Okay, so I know that I need seven reps. Now, if I have a 20% retention rate, which means I need to recruit five to keep one, and I'm trying to keep, create this plan and have the right expectation going into it, how many reps do I actually need to recruit to retain my seven? Okay, I need seven doing 250K minimum, although the numbers will probably be higher or better because you'll have one to two reps that are just champions doing 500 or a million or whatever. We're trying to get to the, that seven marks, 250K in revenue minimum each. There's the $1.75 million uh, gap. I have a you know 20% retention rate or whatever your numbers are. Again, I'm just illustrating the map. That's, you know, that, that means I need to recruit 35 people. 
35 people to get seven to stick. Now, for some of you, you may kind of hear this idea and you're like, whoa, that sounds scary. But you got to remember that if you have the onboarding and expectation process set up correctly, you sign a few, you cycle out people quickly. That's the name of the game. And you can take as long as you want to fulfill this plan, but I'm giving you an example of how to think through the math. So let's pretend that I'm, you know, I got my 35 number, okay? Uh, second to last question, how many reps can you onboard monthly? Uh, for the sake of illustration, let's pretend that I can onboard three reps monthly. And I'm going to do one onboarding class every 30 days of three people. Um, uh, if I know that I can onboard three people a month and I need to recruit 35 reps, how long is it actually going to take for me to scale up this additional seven, uh, this, uh, this additional team of seven people? Well, three reps a month times 12 months, that's 36, right? Just around 35. I know based on the math, I need to recruit three people per month for a year straight to get to my seven retained reps doing the bare minimum quota, which is going to get me from my 250K to 2 million. And that's your, that's your, uh, uh, your sales team growth plan.